once again it's time for you to cut yourself off a big fat richly buttered and lavishly fruited slice of vlog and I want to start with a really interesting radically low budget indie sci-fi called Infinitum Subject Unknown directed by Matthew Butler Hart and starring his partner Tori Butler Hart with cameos from Ian McKellen and Converth Hill. In the world of quantum science anything that can happen will happen. The exploration capability of the human mind is not a new one. Hello? When life gives independent filmmakers lemons, they make lemonade. And when Matthew and Tori Butler Hart were faced with a lockdown, they made lemonade out of that, creating an eerily unpeopled private universe for their speculative sci-fi film using iPhones and digital cameras and making the new world of restriction work within their vision. Infinitum's subject unknown may not be a masterpiece, but it's doing exactly what British indie filmmaking should be doing making the creativity happen. This really watchable film has the spirit of early Roger Corman. Check it out. <coughs> My next film should be even more of an Oscar shoe-in than it already is. Minari by the Korean-American director Lee Isaac Chung, starring Steven Yeun and Han Yeri. How's your daddy like that new farm? He growing things good, doing things right? Yes. I don't like grandma. Grandma smells like Korea. Yeah. What about grandma smell? We're going to get out of here. We should think about each other for a moment. We should see if grandma is going to get out of here. Minari is an old-fashioned film in many ways, an absorbing and moving family drama with a sunlit streak of buttery sentimentality. Chung is based it on his own childhood, growing up on the family farm in 1980s Arkansas, and to me this film already feels like a much-watched classic. It has an amazing way of recreating childhood. Steven Yeun is Jacob, who has a big dream of growing Korean vegetables for all the other Korean incomers yearning for a taste of home, but his wife Monica Han Yeri is disenchanted with the back-breaking farm work and loneliness for a dubious return, and she insists that her own mum, the kid's grandma, comes over to live with them and this is a great performance from the veteran Korean star Yoon Ya Jun. This is such a lovely tender film and it's a must see. Now it's time for a little bit of fantasy weird, the new film from the German director Christian Petzold called Undine, starring Paula Beer and Franz Rogowski. Undine? It's been under the fan. It's been abgebrochen, but I've wieder geklebt. Undine or Undine is a suspense drama thriller with a fey supernatural twist. Paula Bear is Undine herself, a Berlin city historian with an unhappy private life. She meets a strange working class guy called Christoph Bogowski, who is a diver and soon they are having a passionate affair and he introduces her to his watery world and to his strange secret. Petzold is such an interesting filmmaker. Everything he does commands attention and this is a beautifully made piece of realist fantasy. That's it, I'm wishing you a happy Easter and urging you to buy my book, The Films That Made Me, which is an edited selection of my essays and reviews from The Guardian. And I'm also urging you to give a social media like and a share to this vlog and to subscribe and leave a comment to say that you've subscribed and to say where you're from and what your favorite film is. See you soon.